Hey guys, it's September 29, 2021. We are looking at PALT, uh, Pal Talk, and this is a five minute chart for a four day time period. I just wanted to show you how dormant it was the past couple days, and then today it shot up like nobody's business. So, the one thing I like about this stock, but I hate it at the same time, is pre market it didn't shoot up to $16 where me and you can't take advantage, right? Because it's like, who, who, who's taking advantage of this? The, the big wigs, the hedge funds. But it did its moves that we could profit off of during the day. So this is a plus. I like this stock. Uh, but the reason why it's a love-hate relationship is because there's no indication here that this thing would have jumped up, right? Like, usually pre-market tells us, like, okay, there's a lot of hype. There's something going on. But this should have been on no one's radar unless there was some major news. In fact, let's see if there were some news um, that we can have foreseen this um, uh, stock going up. So, come on. What's going on with Paul Talk? Shares double in heavy trade. Shares are trading higher on normal high volume. Not seeing any company specific news. Uh, it was halted uh, twice in a day. So, there you go. There's a bulletin or article that came out saying that there's no specific company news driving the stock up. It just went up. Stocks like this, I think, are um, money grabbers, these pump and dumps. And as you can see, it pumped it pretty high and then it dumped pretty high. So whoever's behind us, I'm sure made some money. Hopefully you guys didn't fall for this trap or you took advantage of the, the setup of the trap and you got out just in time by the hairs on your chinny chin chin. Uh, I actually want to do two videos in one. So we're going to also take a look at LCID Lucid, which is a stock favorite stock of mine. Um, yeah, and this is the five uh, minute bar graph, sorry, and uh, six day period. Um, this has been a, a roller coaster over the past couple of days. Um, don't know what's going on, but let's zoom in as far as a today's recap. Um, it jumped all the way up to 28.39 and then came all the way down below VWAP and didn't even bounce off of VWAP. I mean, it tried to do a little bounce here, but it penetrated through, penetrated through again, couldn't go um, as to meet as high and then came back down. Um, but as far as possible plays to make money, First five minute setup that we like to do. We would have lost money unless you were very risky and you held out for the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, after that, it was riding above FIWAP pretty nicely. Um, I don't know if there was really any trends that we could have foreseen of um, drops that were going to happen because. It's, it would seem as if here at 10 o'clock, it was going to break its upwards trend, but then it, on this next five minute bar graph, it went right back up and even made a high of 28.39 before it dropped down and then sort of bounced off VWAP. So this was a pretty tricky stock to play. I didn't really see any clear or obvious um, plays to make. It wasn't really playing in the range it touched like um it was in a 26 dollar range it was in the 28 dollar range so i couldn't play within a range and bounce off of it um but yeah and at the end of the day it tanked so i would say maybe tomorrow this day this stock is going to do exactly what it did today it's going to give you uh, mixed signals it's not going to go straight up or straight down it's just going to be one of those mixed signals based on what i'm seeing today and past couple days it's been just a roller coaster so yeah that's my review on um lucid um hopefully you guys are trading well and we are all learning and profiting together thank you so much have a good day bye